Hey guys, so um, your book study book this time is a book by Betsy Byers and it's called Tornado and it's if we make a prediction about it I can think that it has to do maybe with this dog that's on the cover okay so I'm gonna be reading this book with you guys this time I want to make sure that you guys are understanding what the story is about and I'll be stopping to ask questions and I really want you to think about the answers to those questions as we go along okay so your book study is Tornado, and remember you're only going to do one lesson each day. This is going to take us two weeks to do, and it's going to be a test grade, so I really want you guys to do a great job on that writing in your mini journal that you're going to do. So let's preview our vocabulary. First word is twister, and that's another word for a tornado. The twister spun over the land, blowing down trees and sucking up dirt. We've already studied tornadoes earlier in the year, so you guys should be familiar with them. Funnel cloud, a spinning column of air at the bottom of a cloud. That's what turns into the tornado. We spotted a funnel cloud in the sky and knew a tornado was coming. So you see it at the bottom of a cloud starting to spin, and that's what comes down and turns into that actual tornado. Storm cellar. An underground room where people can stay safe in a storm. We hurried into the storm cellar as the storm got closer. If you guys have ever seen The Wizard of Oz, that's where her aunt and uncle and the farm people went is into the storm cellar. Usually you see these on a farm and it's um, people would keep vegetables in there and some things they want to keep dry and keep from rotting. This was back before they had electricity. A lot of people had storm cellars. Okay, We might call them, if they're in our house, we might call them basements. A storm cellar is kind of located outside the house, but it's underground. Hesitate means to pause or stop. She hesitated before raising her hand to answer the question. So she stopped or paused and thought about it. Okay, so we're going to read pages one through five and then you guys are going to do page one in your mini talk journal, making sure that you write three to five complete sentences, guys. Okay, so you're going to do that in your mini talk journal when we're finished. So I'm going to be stopping along the way to talk to you guys about some questions. So we have our title, Tornado, and let's look at what our first chapter, we're going to have seven chapters. And our first chapter is called The Storm. Okay, so they're already setting it up. They're already letting us know that this first chapter is going to be about a storm. And since our book's called Tornado, it's probably going to be about a storm that turns into a tornado. Okay, maybe the dog might rescue them. Who knows? Think about, why don't you make a prediction really quickly about why the dog is on the cover? Okay, so let's go ahead and read. Ready? Twister, Pete yelled. Twister! I ran for the house. Twister, he pointed. I looked over my shoulder. I could see it, a long black funnel cloud in the west. It pointed from the dark sky right down to our farm. So let's think about where are they and what's happening. What's our setting? Just told us it's on a farm and it, I know that Pete is yelling so Pete is a character in the story, and it says, I ran for the house. So whoever's telling the story must be the person, the narrator. Okay. Pete opened the doors to the storm, storm cellar and beckoned with his straw hat. Beckon is when you call someone. So he's calling them with his hat. Twister, he shouted again. My two brothers ran from the barn. Pete helped my grandmother down the steps. Hurry up, boys, she called. Then she said to my mother, Come on, Beth. My mother was standing outside the door. She was worried about my daddy. Think about why she would be worried. Hmm, there's a twister coming. Link, Link, she called. My daddy had been named for a president. Lincoln! He's in the cornfield, Pete said. He can't hear you, ma'am. Still, my mother hesitated. The cornfield seemed to be directly under the funnel. He'll be all right. He can get in a ditch. 
You come on now. She ducked into the cellar and Pete pulled the door shut behind her. So let's think about what's happened so far. Pete is a character in the story and he's telling everyone to run and get in the storm cellar. And so it's, it's the person telling the story, the two brothers, Pete, the grandmother, and his mom, Beth. Let's see what else happened. And they talked about the dad, but the dad's not in the storm cellar with them. The storm cellar was dim and cool. Remember dim? We worked on that word earlier in the year. It means when there's just a little bit of light. It smelled of potatoes and pickles. My mother kept sacks of root vegetables here along with boxes of eggs and jars of tomatoes. Remember, this is where they used to keep food before they had refrigeration because it's cooler under the ground. Root vegetables are vegetables that grow in the ground like potatoes and carrots. My brothers and I sat on the dirt floor. My grandmother sat on a pickle barrel and my mother on an orange crate. We sat for a moment silent. We listened to the storm and worried about my father in the cornfield. Why would they be worried? Mm. Something that sounded like gravel was thrown against the cellar doors. Gravel are little pieces of um, rocks. Hail, my mother said, and bowed her head. Remember, we talked about hailstorms. Those are pieces of ice that are big raindrops. Sometimes they can be as the size of a golf ball, and sometimes they can be as big as a tennis ball. So hail is starting to come down. Imagine big, giant, tennis ball-sized pieces of ice. She's bowing her head. It sounds like she's kind of upset. I'm sure she's worried about his dad, who's still out in the cornfield. Pete cleared his throat. You know what this brings to my mind, he said. We knew, and my brothers and I turned to him gratefully. We saw a flash of teeth as he smiled at us. It brings to mind a dog I had one time. Tornado, my brothers and I said together. How'd you know his name, he teased. Yes, I did call my dog Tornado. Pete settled his straw hat on his head and began. I remember it was an August day, a whole lot like this one. So we can see the picture here. We can see the two brothers and the narrator. This must be Pete, the mom, and the grandma. Pete, I'm guessing, is someone that works on their farm because he's not a brother. He's not an uncle. They aren't calling him that. So he must be a farm helper. Okay? So I want you guys to think about what's happened in the story so far. All right? They, they're on a farm. Think about where they are here. They're in the storm cellar and how they described it, that it smelled like potatoes and pickles, and that it was dim and kind of cool. All right, so keeping that in mind, don't you guys, it says, the author grabs our attention right from the start when Pete yells, Twister! What other things grab your attention in this part of the story and why. So I want you to go back and just look at the pages that we've read. What else kind of made you think and kind of grabbed your attention? Okay, maybe them running down into the cellar, maybe mom being kind of worried, the hail hitting this, hitting it sounding like the gravel, okay, and then being down in there. I want you to think about what things grabbed your attention in this part of the story and tell why they grabbed your attention. Do not go past page um, five because that's all we've read. Remember, I'm expecting at least three to five sentences, okay? Use the book to help you. All right, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow.